Meanwhile, the House of Representatives had a committee investigating the joint venture businesses and production sharing contract of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited has accused oil companies in Nigeria of operating without the certificate of acceptance on fixed assets. The committee observed that most of the companies were making claims of capital allowances from the government without following the right process of obtaining the certificate from the Ministry of Trade and Investment. Chairman of the committee, Honorable Hassan Fulata, mentioned that tax evasion by the oil companies was central to the committee's investigation, which covered a period of 32 years precisely from 1990 to date. He named the Shell BP, Chevron and Total Oil Company as among the defaulting companies that committed the malfeasance, which amounts to billions of dollars. For the matter of process, we will have to have an alignment, I would say this, clarify with our JV partner, which is NNPC. Again, it's quite very key because we, we send cash call to them in line with the jury and we understand what the jury says too. There are some information. So sometimes you make a cash call request, but they don't pay everything. So when you then take $5 million out of this retinue of cash call and say 2017, in fairness, it will be difficult for me to answer. That's why I have to explain this. Virtually all oil companies in Nigeria, all, I'm making a generalization, all companies in Nigeria do not have the CAFA certificate. And they are enjoying capital allowance, which amounts to billions, hundreds of billions of dollars. This is fundamental. And this is most surprising. Things that they, they cannot do in their counties they are doing in Nigeria. Accordingly, unless you are able to give us empirically verified, verifiable evidence on the malfeasance on this matter, Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.